Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at the infamous, famous, sideways crossover between X-Force and Spider-Man. Okay, so this is a white-hot hit from the 90s. It's Todd McFarlane's Spider-Man, no adjective, joins X-Force for a two-issue crossover, and um, they did these sideways just to make things fun and more confusing than the than it already is going to be. So here we go. Okay, so this first issue is by Todd McFarlane, and it is, and this is kind of exciting. So John Byrne, back in the 80s, I think FF number two, FF being Fantastic Four, number 252, he did the issue sideways. So I think this is basically inspired by and wanting to sort of homage that. But I have to say, it's kind of cool. It's fun. It gives you a more cinematic effect. And you get to see Todd McFarlane art just like, this is already loving it. Like there's like big bricks and debris flying at Spidey. He's got, um, now it's funny because a lot of lament is uh, thrown like towards the image artists because they don't draw backgrounds. But I have to say that in this situation, this is the perfect situation to not draw backgrounds because of all the action that's going on. It would be so distracting with all the detail that Todd puts in his art. And Todd isn't the one who, who doesn't do backgrounds anyway, as you can see with this great cityscape. I think we're gonna have to go up a little for the panoramic view here. And this is so cool. I love this. I love when uh, artists get artsy and just do fun, different things, story. Pencils, inks, Todd McFarlane, Greg Wright, colors, and Chris Eliupoulos is on the letters. Okay, so this is Spidey versus Juggernaut, and of course, that's always a good time. I love uh, Juggernaut as a Spider-Man enemy. Here we got Warpath from X-Force, who is basically Thunderbird. Uh, I think it's his younger brother, and... Um, I don't know if uh, Warpath's still around or whatever happened to Baby Jane, but, um, or do, nor do I really care, I don't think. Um, it is always fun to see uh, artists draw different characters, and I love Todd McFarlane's Warpath here, it's so cool. And Feral, looking awesome, and this is like so much fun from the 90s. <clears throat> the 90s totally get a bad rap. Perhaps they deserve it. I don't know. But, I mean, I am drinking up this Todd McFarlane art. And he is just doing some fun things. Taking advantage of his sideways path panel action. I mean, I don't know. It just looks cool. You know, but Todd always looks cool. He has such a quirky, like, fun, kinetic energy to his art that is obviously very popular. Uh, the Twin Towers, and one's blown up, so that's never a good time to see in comic books, but what can we do? This was before 9-11, obviously. Um, very cool shot of uh, Juggernaut there fighting with them. Shatterstar. Gideon, funny, crazy, old, bald man with a ponytail. Strife, is that, or is that Cable? I'm sorry. <laughs> they're so different. It's <laughs> they're just all so different. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Like, so one person has 97 pouches, another one has 99. I mean, you know, it's details like that. Boom, boom. Now, that was like... Such a genius character, eh? Oh, that's so cool. Look, I mean, Cable is like 12 feet wide. I mean, he's got it. I mean, he must like make the earth move when he runs with all that and those crazy, like, <laughs> I don't know, guns that just look like super soakers or something. You see infamous panel. Todd McFarlane had drawn Juggernaut getting um, his eyeball stabbed out and they edited it to be off screen and he got PO'd and quit. And that's why he, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Allegedly, he just couldn't take that. I mean, it's a children's book, for God's sakes. Why do we need to see his eyeball being poked out? It's gross. 
Anyway, I'm not against violence. I don't care. I love horror movies. I've been watching that. I probably saw The Exorcist when I was eight years old. Who am I to judge? Anyway, this is the last double page spread from Todd McFarlane on Spider-Man. And I have to say, it's pretty super freaking cool. And Todd McFarlane does draw one of my favorite Spider-Man. Spider-Man. <laughs> Mans. So we are going to continue this immediately in part two in X-Force number four, the sideways, sideways issue, Sabotage part two, X-Over, and guest starring Spider-Man. There's a lot of problems with that, right? Because then it's like, it sort of reads, oh well, it doesn't matter. It was just a fun experiment. And it's funny because uh, you can see that the huge difference between the art of... Uh, McFarlane and Liefeld immediately. I mean, they still have a lot of the same things going on as far as like the hyper little details. And you can definitely see, as I pointed out before, like the Art Adams influence uh, and like the little facial details and stuff. But anyway, and that's just crazy. A lot of this kind of stuff, like, uh, it looks like chicken wire filler, basically. The colors are crazy to me. I don't know what the colorist is doing, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think that would work by today's standards. See, like, it's really hard to come by a, a, a background in this. It's like, oh, you've got this effect, you've got that ink effect, you've got nothing. It's like page after page after page and no backgrounds. It's like, sure, it's pretty hard to look at, it's fun, but I mean, you're here to tell a story for God's sakes. It's like, where am I? What are the characters doing? Are they just floating in the middle of the air? Like, seriously. How is that even working? Black Tom Cassidy. It's just so lazy. But whatever. I'm not supposed to slam him because he's successful. I mean, I won't even say it's lazy. Maybe it's just like, I don't even know what it is, but you really should draw backgrounds in your comic books. I mean, page after page. I mean, it just becomes glaringly obvious after a while. You know, you might as well be looking at like somebody's notebook of pinups or something. But whatever. One of the most famous comic book artists in history. That's fine. Here we go. This double page spread of uh, X Force pinup by Mike Mignola. It's always so much fun to see Mignola draw like uh, superheroes. And I love that since he's Mike Mignola, of course, like there's like these busted up. Uh, statues and the wreckage and skulls because he's Mike Mignola and see and there's that sort of that like cross chicken wire kind of action going on which I want to say I who do I want to blame for that I feel like it's art Adam's fault but they you know artists pick up crap like that from each other all the time and so many artists use that I've used that it's like when done right it can be effective otherwise it looks like filler Anyway, so that was the fun little X over sabotage between um, X-Force and Spider-Man, Rob Liefeld, Todd McFarlane, the last issue of Spider-Man for Todd McFarlane, and then Rob Liefeld went on, I don't know how far he got on X-Factor, X-Force, but he wasn't long thereafter. They went off to form Image Comics, and the rest, as they say, is history. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Hit like. Uh, share my content. And I'll bring you some more later. Uh, take it easy, guys. Thanks.